In this video, we will be discussing the Draw and Measure tool. The Draw and Measure tool allows users to draw objects on the map and get distances or areas of an object. To use this tool, click the Draw and Measure icon at the top of the page. Across the top of our tool, you'll notice several icons which show the different types of features you can draw and measure on the map. These include point, lines, polygons, and text. You will notice that with each icon you have several formatting options. These formatting options will vary per feature. However, there are some options that all features include. These are color, style, and alpha, or transparency. It is important to note that to change the alpha or transparency, you can select any number between 0 and 1. Below these formatting options, you will see a checkbox labeled Show Measurements. To include measurements with your feature, simply check this box. You'll notice that, like the formatting options, the measurement options may vary for each feature. Let's run through some examples. Say I want to add a proposed streetlight to the map and include its GPS coordinates. To do this, I'll first select my point feature. Next, I'll format my point. I'll change the color to brown. I'll keep the style as a circle. And I'll change the outline color to black. Next, I want to verify my measurement options. First, I'll make sure that the Show Measurements box is checked. Then, I'll select my desired coordinate system from the drop-down. In my case, decimal degrees WGS84. I'm happy with my font type and size, so I will leave that as is, but I'm going to change my font color to brown. You'll now notice that as you hover your mouse over the map, that a screen tip saying click to add point follows your mouse pointer. Simply find the area on the map where you would like to add your point and click. Your point will now appear along with the GPS coordinates. If you decide you do not like the point you just made, go back to your tool and click Clear Drawings. Note, however, that this will clear any other existing drawings on the map, and you will not be able to recover a drawing once you've cleared it. You may want to experiment with formatting and fonts before you create several drawings. Next, let's add a proposed waterline to the map. First, I'll click the Line feature. I'll change the color to a darker blue and change the style to dash to set it apart from existing water lines. I also want to estimate how much material I'll need, so I'll keep the show measurements box checked. I set my distance units to feet, change my font color to a dark blue, and increase my font size to 16. To add the line to the map, I click once at the starting point of my line. I can click once again to create a segment, or double click to finish my line. In my case, I will double click to finish my water line. It is important to note that if you select one of the freehand tools, you will have to click and hold your left mouse button to create your feature, and then release the mouse button to finish the feature. Let's say I also want to add a proposed building to the map. I can either select one of the predetermined shapes, or I can draw my own polygon. I'm going to draw my own polygon, so I select this icon here. I'm going to change my fill color to red, I'll leave my style as solid, and I'll leave my alpha as 0.5. Under my measurement options, I'm going to change my distance unit to feet, and my area units to square feet. I'm also going to change my font color to red, but leave the font size as it is. To begin my polygon, I click on the map. For every corner, I click again. Then, to finish my polygon, I double click. You can also choose to edit a polygon you have drawn. Click on the polygon to drag it to a new location, or to toggle the corners to adjust the size and shape of the polygon. Finally, I'm going to add some text to my map. First, I'll click on the text feature. In the text box, I'll type my map. Finally, I'll change the font color to green. To add text to the map, simply click on the map where you would like to add the text. 
If you want to save a copy of your map or share it with someone, you can select the print tool to print your map to paper or a digital format such as PDF.